So if you're like me and you like to uh, record your drums live when you're creating your drum tracks and the external controller that you have doesn't have note repeat on it, we do have an option that we can take advantage of within Studio One 3. And I want to take a look at that in this video. So what I've got set up here is a Presence XT with a drum kit loaded in it. Now you can use any VST devices, will work with any VST that you have uh, on your system, but uh, this is just what I have available here. And I'll go ahead and close that out. What we need to do is uh, bring up our record panel and we can do that by holding Alt, Shift and R on the PC. And we now have access to these controls and you can see that we have a note repeat here. You can also access this panel by coming to view, view and record panel. And what we're interested in here is the note repeat. All we need to do is simply turn that on and we're basically in business. Um, we do need to pay attention to what our quantize settings are. So up here we can come in and adjust. I'll put this on eighth notes for now. We could also click the Q here and adjust the values here. We can change to 16th note, uh, 32nd. You can see that this updates the value there as well. So I'll go ahead and put that back to eighth and let's get out of there. So we've now got note repeat turned on. If I uh, play these and hold the pads down, you see we're not getting anything. Uh, this only works, the note repeat only works if you are in play or record. So if I go ahead and play back. Um, I'll go ahead and start back and record. Okay, so you can see that that is how we then get our um, note repeat going on. We also... If you like using quantize, I typically don't use quantize when I'm doing drums. If I'm way off, then I'll go in and manually adjust, but I, I try to avoid having a mechanistic feel uh, when I'm programming drums. And um, for this example, I think I am going to turn on. We've got this input, input quantize, so when we're recording, we can use this, and it's going to quantize as we're recording uh, to what we have set our value here, uh, quantize value. Um, and it looks like it was already doing it before I turned it on even, um, at least the note repeat portion. Um, I'm going to use this though, because I have a high, uh, buffer size set because of my screen capture software. Let me F2 and get rid of the editor. And I want to get rid of that clip there. Now, besides using the note repeat button here to turn this feature on and off, we could also come over to the repeat key here and click this arrow, choose another key on our controller to turn this on automatically by pressing that key. We could also just type that value in here um, or just press a key and it will fill it in for us. So at this point, we should be able to set up a little two bar loop here. I'll turn the loop feature on. Our click track is on. Now, if we make mistakes, we can actually use this note erase and hold the notes down, the pads down on our controller that we want to take out. Okay. And so I need to turn note repeat back on. We can also use the undo last loop to get rid of everything there. And I'm just adding stuff in here so I can, that's one pass. We can also undo all loops. Um, so these are just a couple other tools that we can use here beyond the uh, note repeat. And I'm not sure if I mentioned, but we also have this erase key here where we can come in and choose a key on our external controller or, again, 
type in a value or hit a key and then use that to turn this function on and off using our external controller.